KuCoin is a new crypto exchange, and it reminds me a lot of Binance in some ways. Uh, on the homepage, you might recognize some of the promotions and contests they're running look similar to the ones Binance does. It's free to sign up, and you will get a new user bonus for being my referral and using the bit.ly link. The main reason to sign up for KuCoin is because you will have access to all sorts of cryptocurrencies and tokens that are not yet available on some of the larger exchanges. So if we scroll down on the homepage, you can see that almost all of the cryptocurrencies listed are not available on Binance or any other large exchanges. They have some brand new ones like Dragon Chain and Deep Brain Chain and Red Pulse, whatever that is. Right now they're running a promotion on Dint, which is something I would be careful about because it's going to result in a pump and dump just like this. People are competing for volume, so the price is gonna shoot up and then plummet really quickly while people try to get in the most number of trades. But anyway, just click the little sign up box on the top right hand corner. It will take you to the registration page where you will just need an email address and password. Now, the first time I tried to sign up for KuCoin, I was using Mozilla Firefox and I was using the quantum version, the newest version of Firefox. It would not let me sign up and I thought it was a problem with the website, but I think it only exists in the Firefox browser. So if you are on Firefox and you can't get it to sign up, try switching to Chrome. That's what I had to do. I switched to Chrome and I was able to get it to work. However, I'm lazy and I normally hit the enter button instead of clicking next. Uh, so, you know, when I filled this field sign up form out, I just hit enter instead of clicking next and that also did not work. So if you're having troubles with the form, even on uh, Chrome, uh, try clicking everything. And if you are using an auto field, uh, an auto fill for the field, uh, make sure that you don't. So if the auto field is highlighting the field in yellow and automatically pasting it in there, um, click at the end of your email or the end of the password, hit a space bar and then backspace. This should clear the auto fill out and leave it with just the correct text. You will need to verify your email address, so just check that, hit confirm, and then log in with the same details. Your dashboard page, when you log in, will show each different coin, and if you go over to the markets tab, you will see a, a list view of all the available markets. This is the second thing that I really like about KuCoin, and that is there are so many different markets in Binance and in uh, Bittrex and, and some of the other exchanges, there's really just Bitcoin and Ethereum exchanges. But KuCoin has uh, a dedicated NEO exchange, which is very cool. Anyway, for the purposes of this video, I need to deposit coin into KuCoin so that I can trade for one of these awesome new currencies. So I happen to have a lot of Litecoin laying around. So I'm going to send my Litecoin to my KuCoin account. I'm going to click on the Ethereum exchange and I'm going to search until I find Litecoin to Ethereum. I could do the same thing on the Bitcoin tab and find Bitcoin to Ethereum or Litecoin to Ethereum uh, just as long as I find it and I want to check it out. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to take me to the exchange page where I would highly recommend going, especially if you are not familiar with KuCoin. This will give you a sense of how active this particular exchange is between Litecoin and Ethereum. And for this video's purposes, you'll get to see the interface before we start trading. KuCoin makes you use Google two-step authentication no matter what, it's not really optional. In the bottom right-hand corner for buy sell, you will see that it is currently uh, unavailable until you input a two-step verification code. So you will need to set this up on your account. I would highly recommend doing it for exchanges that don't require it just for your own security. Because this is a very new exchange, uh, you can see that there aren't many historical data points on this graph of the Litecoin to Ethereum exchange. Um, it's nowhere near as active as Binance for an exchange like Litecoin to Ethereum. However, uh, KuCoin is the only option right now for a whole bunch of coins that you might want to get in on before they go public at Binance and get a whole lot of popularity and the price explodes. For demonstration purposes, I'm still going to send Litecoin to my KuCoin account and trade it for some Ethereum. And then I'm going to use that Ethereum on KuCoin to buy my altcoin. A much smarter thing to do would be to trade Litecoin to Ethereum on a larger exchange with more buy and sell orders because you will get a more fair price for your exchange. I'm going to hover over the little money icon in the top right hand corner and I'm going to click on uh, the 
detail or deposit, and it should take me to my dashboard. Um, back in my dashboard, I'm going to click on the deposit tab if it doesn't already show up, and I'm going to select Litecoin. When I select Litecoin, I will see a Litecoin wallet address, which is blurred out on the screen. I'm going to go to my GDAX account, which is where my Litecoins are currently stored. If you have these on your own wallet that isn't on an exchange, you would just uh, open that wallet up. I'm going to go ahead and move my Litecoins from my Coinbase wallet to my GDAX wallet, which is instant, and then I'm going to click withdraw. I'm going to select Litecoin address, and in the Litecoin address field, I'm going to paste the address from my KuCoin wallet. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to deposit one Litecoin. I'm going to enter my two-factor authentication code and then hit withdraw. For some reason, Coinbase and GDAX only show pending transactions through Coinbase. So if you want to double check that your payment is pending and you want to see where it is on the blockchain, you can go to your Coinbase wallet, select Litecoin wallet, in my case, um, look on transactions, and as you can see, there is one Litecoin that is pending. If you click on it, it will open up a bit more details, and if you click view transaction, it will take you right to BlockCypher where you can see this transaction on the blockchain. I'm gonna wait about five or 10 minutes, and this transaction will be complete, and the coins will be available in my KuCoin wallet. Under the deposits page, if you scroll down, you can see the deposit records, and once it has been confirmed, it will be available there. You'll also get an email. I'm going to go back to the markets page and I'm going to type in Litecoin. Well, I'm going to type in LTC. This will take me back to the Litecoin to Ethereum exchange. And one cool thing about KuCoin is if you hover over the sell, you can see a quick link to sell your Litecoin for Ethereum. And uh, you would just enter the normal fields here, how much Litecoin you want to sell, the going rate of Ethereum you want for it. Then you'll enter your authentication code and hit sell. I prefer to go directly to the exchange because there's a lot more information here that I think is useful. Once I have signed in with my verification code, you can see the buy and sell boxes that look almost exactly the same as the one in the quick links. However, you get the full graph and you get the full order book. KuCoin makes it very easy to automatically select the exact small decimal number of the exchange rate by just clicking on the best price. You can also click on the order book. Any number you see on the order book for the price, if I click on it, it will automatically fill it out on whichever tab I'm on, the buy or the sell tab. Because there are a lot of different exchanges on KuCoin, uh, sometimes it's nice to double check that you're on the right exchange before you start to do anything. And you can do that by looking on the top left-hand corner. Right now I'm on Litecoin exchange to Ethereum. Uh, you can also go to Bitcoin exchange to Ethereum if that was the exchange you wanted to uh, trade for. I went ahead and initiated a trade from Litecoin to Ethereum. So if I go back to my account overview and scroll down to Ethereum, I can see that my uh, my balance down there has changed to 0.317, which is the exchange rate I got for one Litecoin. Going back to the trading page, I can now trade Ethereum for anything on the Ethereum tab. Uh, for this example, let's check out the KCS coin, which is the KuCoin. This is very similar to the Binance coin. Uh, this coin is built into the KuCoin exchange, so it will actually have some value because people will use it for trading. In the buy box, I can click on the best price and that will immediately load in the lowest seller's current price for that coin. Depending on how many they're willing to sell, I, if I click this price, I should get an auto sell. It may not be for the full amount that I wanna buy, but I should be guaranteed to receive at least some of that exchange at that price. You can see that this number is the same number in the middle of the order book. It is the, the big, large white number that says uh, 0 0.003796. That's the same as the best price. I don't want to immediately buy this coin. I wanna see if I can get a better deal on it. So I'm gonna change this number a little bit and click buy. I changed it to 0 0.00389. And if you look at the order book, you can see that that puts me behind several people. So several people in green have bid higher amounts than I have. And if one of those sellers in red decides to lower his or her price, they will trigger someone before me. So I'll have to wait for several people to change their mind and the price to lower. This might not happen. Um, and if this doesn't happen, it means that my buy order is never going to be executed. On a very small exchange like KuCoin, you want to be very careful about this because your order might never exchange if sellers never move down and the price keeps going up. Alternatively, because there's a very small spread, lots of sellers come here at the moment and they move their prices around very frequently. 
the mean graph will show the last price that was agreed upon as an exchange rate. And if you look over on the far right hand side, that is the full table of transactions. I can place multiple buy orders um, at different prices. So I can select um, you know, a different amount of KCS that I wanna buy at a different rate and submit a second buy order. It's totally up to you. There is usually a minimum size. You can check which orders are currently waiting to be filled on the active orders tab. And if you click on dealt orders, you will see orders that have successfully executed. That's everything you need to know to get started trading on KuCoin. A few words of wisdom. KuCoin is still very small, so you can get some incredible deals on certain exchanges, and on other exchanges, you might not get a good deal. So I might get my Dragon coin for an incredibly good price, and my Litecoin to Ethereum transaction might be $10 lower than it would be if I had gone to Binance. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and click that little like button if you don't mind.